Okay, on this 120, I barely want to apply any pressure again, and be super careful on this edge right here. If you notice, we're down to the raw wood already, but not here. So you got to be, because what happens is it tends to bend over, and that goes a lot faster, so be super careful on the edges. <laughs> This 120, I'm going to try and barely get down to the raw wood, but just barely. And I might still have some dark spaces, but those will come out with the next grit. So like these right here, I'm not going to worry about them. Barely letting the, the, the sander touch this. Barely. On the edges. quite a bit of pressure here and it's barely getting rid of the dark so that's why I used the 80 grit earlier to break this up and make it easier so you can you can do it all with this grit but it takes longer so it's up to you now your sander will get these deposits and it lets less of the sander hit the table. That's fine, but when it gets too much, you're just going to be working against yourself. Don't be afraid to use too many discs. They're cheap, and you're better off changing out a disc if you're not sure if it's working or not working. Okay, here we go with the 180 grit. And let's uh, clean this up so you can see what we have. <clears throat> As you can see, there's still some dark spots but those are going to get covered up with the stain and I'm not too concerned about those. But let's get a closer look. So not seeing any swirlies. Um, there might be one or two in here. But those are going to come out with my next run. See those over there, but not here. <laughs> 